Yes, I am just creating a remote repository at this moment. So this remote repository will contain some code, right? Where uh, you can clone it, you know, make some modification, add your code and push it to your remote repository, right? So we have uh, a number of way to create repository, right? So I'll be tell uh, I'll t I'll tell you the first way that we have already done right but I'll be just recording this for the audio purpose right you just need to click on new right and give the repository name so I'll be give I'll give this DevOps 8 right so this is my repository name the next is who is the owner of this repository so you are the only you know owner of this repository you can give description if you want so you can keep it as a public or you can keep it as a private so if you do it public then that means anybody can see it but you can choose who can commit and work on your repository but if you keep it private and you can decide who can see and who can commit right and if you keep it private then this will not be visible to anyone over the internet so for now I'll keep this public right in the first scenario I will initialize this here and if you see when I will initialize it right this will let you immediately clone repository to your computer right and it will add one git dot git ignore which is none here and add license is none here all right so just click on create repository so this repository will initialized right and you would be okay to you know clone it right so i have uh, already uh, you know explained it yesterday so first you will need github i mean git bash in your local computer if you are working in the linux you just need to do yum install git and you will get the git command there right so this is my local windows so you just can click on uh, right click here click on git bash here right so once you open git bash you are good to clone your repository so just do git clone and paste your repository and hit enter right and you can see now your repository has been cloned in the same way if you are working in Linux you just have to run git clone and your repository name right now you can see the repository has been cloned successfully you can do cd and navigate to that remote repository you can see now we are in the master branch right and you can see one initialized file we have right so the first time right I will tell you let's say you are going to add some code and make some modification or add some of the file and folder we will keep on discussing about them right so let's say I am going to make a small change in this file only so let's say I am going to open this readme.md and I am going to add some instruction here right this is test score and we'll save it right and if I do git status right it will tell me exactly whenever you are making any changes just try git status it says cannot stay for commit right this time you have made some changes in this file but those changes has not been staged in git yet right so if you want to stage them you just need to do git and that file name or git add star even this is telling you here you can do git add file name you can do git add star so whatever suits you and if you do if you if you don't want to do that you just need to do git restore and file name so the changes will be discard right but here I will do that I will add it so once you have added again if you do git status here you will see the modification has been done and the file has been staged in the git right the changes has been staged in the git now it's time to make commit it says changes to be committed so what you need to do is you need to do git commit hyphen m for a message and whatever the message you want to give let's say test commit right but if you don't want to commit it you want to reset it you just need to write git restore hyphen m staged and the file name and your changes will be unstaged so you can see 
I have added commit to this now if I try git status you will see nothing no changes here everything has been committed whatever the changes was made in this file those changes has been successfully committed here right so next what I want to do is I just want to push the changes git push and hit enter so this will ask user id password first time right and your changes will be pushed you can see all the changes has been successfully pushed here and if you go to repository and just click on repository and if you go to your readme file you will see your changes are here right 